Alright, we're going to be starting from scratch for this tutorial because, honestly, no flash is easier even than making a bunny hop. So, pretty much what it is, we're going to detect if that flash duration is greater than zero. If it is, we're going to cut it right back down to zero. So that white flash and everything that literally blinds us and just leaves that loud ringing just isn't going to happen. So the first thing we want to do, well, obviously when we get attach ourselves to the game and get our game module, which is just client underscore panorama.dll. So we're going to get our local player. Then we're going to get pretty much store the flash duration in a variable. Check if that variable is greater than zero. If it is, just set it to zero. So, it's very, very simple. So let's go ahead and include our libraries. We're going to do windows.h. We're going to include our memman class. So include memman. I'm going to make, just like before, we're going to do mem class as a way to access everything we need inside of that class. We're going to make a structure for our offset. And we're going to make the what we access it by just called offset. We're going to make another struct, call it variables. And we're going to make that accessor called val. So for offsets, we want our local player and flash duration. I'm going to rearrange these just so it's a little bit neater. And our variables, we want to store our local player. So, the word local player. We also want the word game module. Alright, so now we can go ahead and set ourselves to pretty much get an access to the game. So, we're going to do, we need to get the process ID. So, int proc ID equals mem class dot get process then what it is. So in our case it's csgo.exe now from that proc ID we want to get the game module so we're going to use our accessor val val dot game module equals mem class dot get module then it takes in pretty much our process ID so proc ID then it takes in the name of the module. So it is client underscore panorama dot dll. So now from there, we can get our local player. So we're going to go ahead and do val dot local player equals mem class dot read memory. D we're gonna be it's going to be a type D word. Now the address. So the address is going to be the game module here plus our local player offset. So val dot game module plus offset dot local player. So now to make sure everything's going to go smoothly, we want to make sure local player does not equal null. So if val dot local player equals null, we want to run a loop. So we're going to run a while loop while local player equals null we want to keep trying to get the local player so local player pretty much if you're at the, you just start the game you're at the main menu local player is going to return null you get into the game to where you select a side and you can move you well it's not going to be null long story short so now we want our main loop so just while true so it's always going to be running and as usual with external, just add a sleep of one millisecond to the end. And now we are set up to where we can do what we need. So this first step's already done. We already have our local player. Now literally all we need is one little line. Well, let's see, we can do this in literally three lines. We're gonna get our flash duration. I'm gonna go ahead and make a integer variable. Up. Actually, that would be a, f I don't know, it's either an integer or a float. 
meh. We'll just do int uh, flash dir. We're just gonna go ahead and set it to zero. So we're gonna go off of our local player plus the flash duration and store that in flash dir. The variable just made so flash dir equals mem class dot read mem type integer. Val dot logo player plus offset dot flash duration. Now we can go ahead and print it out. Whoops. Oh, we need to include one more library, IOStream. So we can print out to the console. And just let it run. So it should be zero as it is. Yep. But if I flash myself, it should spike up. Yep, just like so. Now it should be eh. Now we want to check. So if flash dir is greater than zero. We're gonna write to mem right now. So mem class dot write mem integer type val dot local player plus offset dot flash duration and we're gonna send in the value zero. Add a so this should work just fine actually, but out of curiosity I do wanna see if it's a float or not. So as you can see, the flash just doesn't affect us. Because the second it was greater than zero for the flash, it just immediately sets it back to zero. So, yeah, I'll leave the source code in the description. Hopefully this was at least somewhat helpful.